Hello everyone, I'm Juggerai. Welcome to my Minecraft Bedrock Survival Let's Play series. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. We did do some uh, stuff down in the nether for some ancient debris on our live stream Sunday. And I wouldn't say we had the greatest luck, but we were successful in acquiring some ancient debris. This is what I got digging out the tunnel um, that we were going to run through and explode. So we started off with enough for two ingots right off the bat. And then during the stream, we found 23 more netherite uh, or ancient debris that I smelted down to netherite scraps. And we ended up with the uh, six that we had left over from previous. And so now we can uh, get our gear upgraded. Now we also had gathered some gold nuggets while we were in there. We mined out all the ores that were exposed. Um, just in case there was some ancient debris behind them. Uh, but specifically, I mean, hey, we need quartz and uh, all the gold we can get anyways. So... Let's go ahead and get this going. We'll make all the gold ingots we can. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make our netherite ingots. We can get nine of them. We still have one scrap left. And now we can upgrade our gear. Man, we are looking great. Um, I even threw the, um, Items that made sure they were in the hot bar that we had enough to enchant or level up also. So we got our sword, both our pickaxes, our fortune, and our silk touch, our shovel, and our axe all upgraded another right. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have enough to do our hose, uh, but hey, that's not even necessary really. It's more like just the flex thing to do those kind of things. But we are coming up on my favorite holiday of the year. And I thought it would be nice to go ahead and get ready for that and do a little decorating. First off, what is Halloween without some pumpkin pie? So, between now and then, that's what we're going to be eating. And it is going to be great. Now, uh, let's get a little prepped up for some decorations, can shall we? We got some pumpkins, so I'm thinking uh, we do some jack-o'-lanterns. So first thing we have to do is run around and carve these pumpkins. And then we can uh, pick them up. Oh, this will be our first netherite tool that we've gotten to use. Yes, look at that axe go. Um, even before we had nether, when we had our netherite armor, uh, we did not have netherite tools. So this is a big moment. Now we can um, go ahead and make those 32 jack-o'-lanterns and see what we can do to help spice up the base a little bit and get it ready for the Halloween season. And then I'll let you guys know in about a little surprise later on. So now that... We have some jack-o'-lanterns and some pumpkins. We can spread them around and just kind of help, uh, well, that doesn't quite look right. Um, spread them around and just kind of help, uh, you know, get the Halloween spirit going for us. And um, just kind of decorate our whole area up here. I'm not going to worry about the mining uh, base down below, but around the villager bases and all the different farms we have up here and stuff just kind of really uh so everywhere as we go we feel the spirit of the season and the holiday and i think it's going to be a lot of fun
Halloween is on a Sunday this year, and we are going to have a special um, video on that day that I'm going to put out, and um, I, I'm going to show you guys what I've got planned for it. I'm not going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, that's going to be saved for the video, but I'm going to give you a little rundown of it. So uh, let's get down to our spider farm area and uh, take a look. So, right here is the rest of the mine shaft that goes down to the spider spawner, and there's a whole lot of room here for opportunities. I think that's just where I had dug out, but where this cobblestone is, this led off to other parts of the mine shaft, and I had an idea of decorating it and doing kind of like a Halloween haunted house kind of theme thing. Um, and I thought that would be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll have to come back in and really, really uh, look at everything. But I'll give you a kind of an idea of what I uh, was going to do. So here's the basic idea. Um, we take the tunnel. We make it a little dark. Uh, probably get some of this on the walls and stuff too. Uh, so I'll probably have to... I don't know if I'll make it like a single wide just to save myself some work or um, I, I don't currently have the wool to do it all um, otherwise most likely but um, just kind of decorate it up and add some uh, just kind of uh, give it that Halloween haunted house kind of feel um, so this is pretty much what I had in mind and uh, I can't wait to see what I'm able to pull off and uh, how you guys like it. So now we need to prepare ourselves for mass villager trading, which means the little crop farm we have down below isn't really going to cut it. Um, we're going to terraform a lot of this land right here. It may or may not be enough. I may have to do more, but um, we're going to make this all um, farmland. Alright, just to bring you in for a little update, I've got a lot of terraforming done. I'm ready to go in, add the water, till the dirt, get some crops planted. There's going to be different layers or whatever. Um, but we do have a build that's going to go with this. And after we get this all situated and get the build done, uh, I'll be able to see how much more uh, farmland we can get away with. So that's kind of the plan right now. Uh, get the snow and the grass all out of here and make it uh, so that it's easy to come. I can just come through, till it, and go on. All right, the fields are done. We've got carrots over here. Um, it's filled out pretty full. Um, there are some saturation issues down here that we'll have to take care of. I'll take care of that another time, but we've got... Uh, weed up there that'll come all the way across here and the beetroot will start here and go this way on this level and all down here will be uh potatoes down at the bottom edge there this saturation though or this dry area um i'm not sure the only thing i can figure is because of the difference in the levels of the land affected it a little differently than i predicted it's no big deal as I need to um, take care of it for the crops I will and um, can even I, I kind of knew this was gonna be a thing um, and I forgot to add a spot there for that but um, yeah we'll take care of all that as we need to uh, right now we're gonna focus on this up here I'm gonna do just a slight bit of terraforming right here get rid of that tree and we're gonna put our windmill right here and um, this will be the first windmill I've ever built, so uh, hopefully it go comes out as good as I'm picturing in my head. Alright, I got this terraformed out, what little bit we needed. Um, this doesn't have to be a very big base. Uh, I think we're just going to do kind of like uh, the same size we did for the uh, Stronghold Nether Portal room. And just do a little... 
little three wide kind of circle here and um, so we're gonna do this with um, some different block variations um, and we're gonna go up six levels high uh, we got some stone in here some andesite some stone bricks probably gonna do the polished andesite we got the mossy stone mossy cobble uh, variants that are going to go in here and we wanted to have that um, you know kind of thrown together kind of look um, but be very simple at the same time and I think this is uh, going to help uh, really pull that together and um, so I'm going to build this up to uh, a six high and then we'll uh, come back in and uh, see what, uh, and I'll fill you in on the plan for the next uh, level. All right, so I got the base in, and I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. And you can see I did this wooden platform um, to kind of square it up because the next section I wanted to be square and. We're going to go ahead and use uh, spruce logs on the corners. And, you know what, let's uh, kind of work this up. This is going to go six high also with the planks down here. And we're just going to kind of uh, square it all up, build it up the same as we did the bottom. And um, obviously we're probably not going to use all the space in here. But, uh, it, I mean, it's a windmill, so, you know, we want it to have plenty of room just in case for the long haul. Uh, with the, basically what's going to go in here is extra wheat seeds, extra beetroot seeds, poisonous potatoes. Um, things that are probably never going to get used uh, since we don't need it for bone mill. Uh, so, I'm going to get to work on this here. And then uh, I'll bring you in for the uh, top section. So we've got a nice box there. And we've got our um, next section. I went up three high past the box there. Um, circled it back up. And um, we're going to put a dome roof on it. And then we'll get to the blades. So here you can see... Uh, it's I probably should have made the dome a little bit steeper I'm not quite happy with the dome on top it doesn't seem to be tall enough for my liking um, I can always come back and change that later uh, but maybe once we complete it uh, it'll look a little bit better um, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to come up here and we're going to go about center here and uh, get this thing designed out. All right, so I used oak logs as uh, kind of like the wheel there. Oh, I meant to put a spruce uh, trap door to cap off them logs. I'll do that. Um, but uh, that's what we got there. And again, this is my first time ever making a windmill so I'm like way out of my comfort zone this isn't something I've ever done I just wanted to do something and show you guys that it's okay to go outside of your comfort zone and experiment and try new to build new things that you haven't built and that's how we all get better right um, let's go ahead and put this Bruce door here and I'm I, I'm really happy with how this turned out again the tip top um, could have been a little better I did do the uh, crops as you can see the potatoes are completely full I, I got extra potatoes extra beetroot seeds a couple extra carrots uh, the wheat's the only thing that's going to take a while I think uh, to really fill out the rest of the way because I, I didn't have very many seeds for that but um, yeah, we got all this stuff here and the seeds and the poisonous potatoes 
are what we're not going to be able to sell to the former villagers. We're not going to get use out of them. So those are the kind of things that are going to go in storage into the uh, building. So I think the plan's going to be to put chests back here on these walls like this. And we'll get some kind of probably just like a spiral staircase up the middle or something maybe. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with the staircase. But um, maybe it just runs up the middle or something. Uh, we're going to kind of play around with it and see how it turns out. But um, we got plenty of space in here. Ho hopefully to hold way more seeds than we'll ever get if not we'll we'll compost them and um but for for now this should do for a very very long time all right i added the spruce trap door on up there and let's walk inside i threw some lighting in here and hid the um some jack-o-lanterns in with regular pumpkins uh we could take a peek right here well, I didn't mean to break all the way through. <laughs> but uh, you see how that glows? Well, you can see the same thing over there. I got us three sets, uh, chest three high here. And I got the same kind of thing going on up here, except for the pumpkins are in between the chests. And this is just, uh, you know, a simple little way to hide some light in. And it looked like it belongs can you know, considering what we're using to store it with. Again, we'll probably never need all this storage, but um, it's here just in case. And um, if we do need to, we have plenty of room to add even more chests as necessary. So um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And again, I mean, it was my first windmill, so I'm excited for it quick little preview of what we're going to do in the next episode. Um, I broke the village breeder by allowing these two farmers to be able to interact with each other. I have no idea what I was thinking. It was a lapse of judgment. I knew better than that. So we have several villagers. Uh, one that I don't know where he'll go, but uh, he'll wander off somewhere eventually. And uh, so we have several villagers I believe four of them that um, need to be converted and we can put into homes and we can fix this situation here so that the farmers are not able to interact with each other but they can still get to their workstations without a problem and uh, we'll probably do a villager house or two right here uh, maybe three uh, along that path there and we'll come all the way up over here um, either along this side here or out along the trail between the geode and the skeleton farm or somewhere along that way through there um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do but uh, Dr. Zombie Jr. is going to help us with them conversions next episode all right, we got our mass fields in for our villager trading with our farmers. We got a windmill built, and I'm really happy. I you can see I expanded the wheat there a little bit more even. Um, the crops look great. I am really happy with how the windmill turned out. We are so close to um, getting 20 subscribers, at which point we'll be able to see what's going on with the building on the side of the cliff over there and um if you like today's video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends the channel really needs the support our actual goal is 50 subscribers so if you could uh you know you have the power to help with that by getting helping spread the channel out there helping the community grow uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the uh windmill and um back there on the ledge there that's the building for the once we get 20 subscribers uh it's gonna be a nice little thing that i'm planning to do for everybody um also if you have any suggestions for the uh haunted uh house deal that i uh explained that i wanted to do uh anything particular you would like to see just any kind of anything 
Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything you would like to see that you haven't seen or anything Minecraft related, uh, reach out and I'll, I mean, I answer all my, I respond to all comments. Um, so if you haven't already, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.